Oh wow. Oh wow. Cheesy, cheesy. Snotty. What's up, you guys? Force here with the Foco Flow Show, and I know the sign says Holy Enchilada, but the rain had other plans. The shuttle we had booked got completely canceled. So we self shuttled up to lower point Porcupine single track, so LPS. Uh, and so we're going to hop in at LPS right above the snotch, hit that to Porcupine Rim. We've got a window. Uh, we've heard from the other shuttle companies that's going to be dry enough. So we're going to get out there. And try to find that flow. In case you're unfamiliar, the whole enchilada is the crown jewel of mountain biking in the Moab area. It's a shuttle ride all the way up to Burrow Pass, and then you combine seven trails for an epic 27 mile, mostly downhill run, all the way back to the road on the ridge inside of Porcupine Rim in and outside of the canyon. As you heard me say, uh, the rain had other plans. Back-to-back -back days got rained out and the shuttle company that we had hired was not running the shuttles because of bad rain and thunderstorms. So we had to get creative. We checked out uh, a few other shuttle companies, got some local intel and realized that there was a nice pocket of dry, non-rain window in the middle of the day. So we self-shuttled halfway up to Lower Porcupine Single Track. That got us the bottom 14 miles in some of the most epic single track, kicking things off with one of the most technical areas known as the Snotch, and then epic uh, Jeep road into ridge riding and all the way down to that same road. So we made the best of it, and then we got to experience some of the best of the mountain biking uh, that Mohab has to offer. So you know what we're gonna do? We'll get Let's, right into uh, it. Let's hop into LPS. We don't need no stinking Snotch. No Snotch. Snatch is coming. Yeah, All right, Jimmy, Florida. take us to. No, you go ahead. I don't want to. I don't want to lead it. So, you don't want to get. You don't want to hit the snatch. <laughs> Up here. All right, LPS. Cannot. Something. Okay, that's true. Very misty. A much turn. Cliff is right to the right. Oh, after all that pent up anticipation. Whew. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Got it. Not a good line at all. All right. Ooh, there's a. Sweet overlook. Uh -huh. All right, here's the snatch. So the snatch and or the notch is known as one of the most technical features along an already black diamond trail there with LPS and Porcupine Rim. I had watched a million videos of the snotch, which is the easier of the two routes down the ledge on the cliff side. So walking it here, a hard right hand switchback, a hard traverse up and over, and then a really chunky downhill after a hairpin turn. On the fence when I got to it, but after walking it, decided that I had the skill set to complete it, had my buddies to spot me, and then we took a dedicated run right at it and was really stoked to see how it all played out. We didn't go look at the notch. If you see the videos out there, that one looks like another skill level up and not worth it with so much exposure all around us. Mm. Uh. 
<laughs> I'll take it. We're going for it. So this, I'm not 100% sure about. <sighs> All right. Oh, this part looks steep. Nope. Snotty. Yeah! Woohoo! Come on, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Snatchy! Yeah! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Woohoo! Yeah, rocks and dirt. I think I thought this was all rock. Definitely not. There you go. Oh, that drive strain still feels good. Gosh. <laughs> oh wow. Sick. Holy crap. That's stupid. <laughs> Bro. I think so. Just hitting all the sicker lines because it's 360. Uh-huh. Oh. There. Huh? Oh, Jake. Nice lines. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Well, <laughs> a little drop. Now I'm following you. Definite square edge rock on that. Oh, Kush core. Hopefully hold me tight. Final exit. Yeah, a lot of this, I think. Ooh, 
a little ledge, ledge, drop, notch, oh. sick, shoo, kind of working our way away from the rim for a little while, wide open, eat some miles up, oh yeah, wow, Drop. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, don't follow me. I don't know. Oh, cool. That works. Oh, look at this. Sick. Felt like pulling up the rear, get some vantage points. Still sort of on the Jeep road, or more rocky, uh, wide open. Uh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Drop! Ah. Yeah. Where's Joe going? I don't know. You going farther down? Are you just going around this? Ha! You! Thank you! <laughs> what? Where are we going? You want to hand out? <laughs> All right, we're going the right direction. This is cool. Oh, gosh. Drop. Drop. Chunky line. Ah. Oh. Yeah, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, sick. You. Oh yeah. Good gracious. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Nice job. Whoa, big ones. <laughs> Yahtzee! What? Yeah? This has got to be. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Let's try this again. 
I gotta go ahead. Oh, what the? Left, left. <sighs> Single track. So as we transition from the Porcupine Jeep Trails to the Porcupine Rim Single Track, there's just so much awesome footage that you're gonna to have to tune in next week to see the rest of the ride as we descend along the canyon with Castle Valley below and hang a left on the single track, the ridge riding that is ahead as we descend down to the Colorado River. It's an absolutely iconic ride and there's just so much great footage to show. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. There's so many ways to ride this, but it's such an awesome place. So tune in next week so we can get out there and find that flow.